Good morning and welcome to another episode of the O2 Garage and today is finally the day when the Toyota Stout heads south to the 2022 Fuchs Adelaide Auto Expo barn find auction. It's on this weekend and you're along for the ride. Let's go. Now, you know how in life sometimes things go right and then sometimes things don't go right? Well, today's one of those days when I'm heading down to Adelaide, got the, uh, the stout on the back of the truck. Something has not gone very right at all. And that something was a top radiator hose in the Pajero. And that top radiator hose has blown and as a result, the engine now has absolutely no compression at all and is stuffed. So the Pajero is sitting where it needs to be sitting, which is here at Mobile Auto Care. And unfortunately, this is where it's gonna sit until it gets fixed because I need another motor and that's not gonna be cheap and that puts me out of action. But all is not lost. I've got a cunning plan. We still have a show to get to. We still have a barn find auction and I've still got cars to move. So that's that problem solved. Until later. Okay, so let me just quickly bring you up to speed as to where things currently sit at the moment because <clears throat> here at the show, ready to go, barn find auction, all set up, but I don't have the Pajero. The Pajero, that's kaput. Blew the radiator hose, the engine's detonated, got no compression, so that's now out of the picture. So I did manage to get down here. That was all cool, got towed. I've got the, uh, the stout here. A little bit further up, I've got the Falcon as well. That one's here too. And today's auction day, it's nice and early. So we're here. What does that mean moving forward? Well, that means the Pajero's just become a project car. But right now, we're at the Adelaide Auto Expo. So let me go and show you some pretty awesome cars. This little orange R100 behind me actually goes a long way with me back to my start of motorsport car show commentary back to 1999, I think it was. Owned by Ben, just an amazing little car, big white Simmons wheels, and it's become a very iconic car, not only here in South Australia, but in Australia. Um, it was one of the first R100s to get that real big wheel treatment. Under the bonnet, turbocharged 13B, the thing is an absolute weapon, but the story goes that I actually dynoed this car back in 1999 here at this show outside on the dyno. It's a pretty cool car and it stood the test of time really well.
There's a lot of amazing cars here at this show, and if you get a chance to come to the Adelaide Auto Expo, do yourself a favour. It's, it's turning out to be one of the best car shows in Australia. The quality of cars are amazing. <clears throat> when I went to high school, there was a guy called Adam Van der Linden, and Adam had a, a business, has a business called Southern, car, Southern Classics and Customs, and he's doing some really good work south of Adelaide, but what he's becoming known for quickly, apart from amazing restorations like GTs like this, he's now starting to fabricate parts. And I think the fabrication of parts is the key indicator that our scene is doing really well. Have a look at what he's just finished fabricating. This is the rear of an XA, XB, XC Falcon. This is all handmade, completely hand beaten. He designed it all obviously using these wooden bucks underneath and the sheet was put on the outside and it's beaten into place. But he now does not only vehicles like this, but he, he also does things like panels and boots and uh, you know guard lips and things like that, all handmade and all hand done down there in his southern workshop. And I just think that sort of manufacturing is outstanding. It's just world leading. Because how many people have got Falcon Coupes that they do need those big quarter panels? Sure, it's not going to be cheap. It's going to be expensive, but if it keeps your car on the road. That's the main thing. Oh, check this out, Volkswagen. There is some absolutely amazing cars here and uh, I find it hard to not walk around and not necessarily talk on the microphone, just look at the cars. It really is an awesome show, filled with just fantastic creations. But the reason we're here, the reason why the O2 Garage is here, not because I'm commentating this weekend, that sort of happens all the time. The reason we're here is the Barn Find Auction, brought to you by U-Haul, one of our sponsors. And of course, we've got cars coming up. I'm gonna take you over now and give you a walk through these vehicles because I think we've potentially unearthed our best year ever. Now, I'm gonna go sort of in reverse here, there, and everywhere, but this one here, <clears throat> this is a HK sedan. It's a factory silver mink car with a Goya red interior, really rare, six cylinder. Right next to that, I've got an AP6. This car runs and drives, it keys off and goes. A lot of patina on it, and it's got that leaning tower of power, the 225. Right next to that, we've got a VP SPAC Commodore. This is an original one owner car, never been polished, anything. All of the bits and pieces that are on it are all absolutely, totally original. It is absolutely mint. And look at that, it's a manual car as well. So that is a really rare vehicle. Next one is an X, uh, XF Falcon. That's been sitting in a garage for about 15 years. The guy was gonna put a barra turbo into it, turn it into like a drag car, but he realizes he can't, you know, he just, he's not gonna make it happen. Of course, we know what this one here is. That's the Stout sitting there looking fantastic. So hopefully, and fingers crossed, we get the number we need to get that one out the door. Right next to that is an LC Tirana. Have a look at this. The pointy nose grill, the six cylinder motor, but what is the most rare thing about this car is that it actually has 
a bench seat from factory and a column automatic as well so this i don't think i've ever seen one before this is a six seater a factory six seater lc tirana that'd have to be rarer than an lj lc gdr xu1 i've never seen one of those what a fruit leak Right next to that, we have a really cool Celica. This one was uh, found down south of Adelaide. Now, these are getting harder and harder because of the coupe shape. It's a real JDM style. And um, this one has a, a really nice little running 2.2 litre, has all the good fruit. That's probably going to go. Next to that is a car that not many people knew existed because they didn't sell many of them. This is, believe it or not, not a Holden. Well, it is a Holden. Holden made it. But look at that. It's got a Toyota badge. This is a Toyota Lexan. So it celebrated Ben Lexan winning the Australia Cup back in the, you know, the 80s. And uh, Toyota produced this vehicle. Very rare, and it has Toyota parts on it. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And then finally, we all know that one there. There's the blue XC Falcon. That one's come from out of corn. That's one of ours. Um, we're, we're hoping for a good result on that one. And it really does typify the barn find mentality. Or does it? Because let me show you this <laughs> have a look at that a 1954 cadillac fleetwood limousine it has a running driving drive line in it. look at the size of these things here jesus um covered in barn dust it's been sitting for about 20 years it is left hand drive and it is absolutely massive it is totally huge really big inside it has the bench seat at the front Full luxury, everything. Look at it, it's a mess, it needs a clean, it needs to be restored, but who wouldn't want to get hold of this? Look at the little security jump seat, and then that in the back. Oh, and what you can't smell is oh, that, but it is absolutely awesome, I think you'll agree. Okay, so in a short period of time, we're gonna get the guys from Mason Gray Strange to get set up and at about four o'clock today we're going to bring these out now we've got our barn fine teams and thomas and ruby for the very first time are in the barn fine teams and they're going to have their white gloves and their t-shirts we're going to push them out and with any luck we're going to get the auction underway and running that's a little bit later on today but i'll make sure you're there front row seat to have a look i've got other stuff to do all right guys well we are moments away from the barn find auction starting and of course got ruby right next to me Hi. and uh, you're wearing a u-haul shirt because you're pushing this year is that right two years to convince him <laughs> so, well, well you know what I mean, you needed to be in training uh we've got the stout behind us it is here without the pajero but what, what's our game plan going to be because you know by the time people watch this it'll be over what reserve do you reckon we should put on it thousand bucks yeah thousand bucks it's at 525 at the moment online. Should we just sell it? Depends. We'll see what happens well, online. Okay, but if it gets near a thousand bucks, sell it. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sell it. Alright, well so up next, we're gonna get stuck into it. Should we wish each other good luck? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Right, there we go, lot one is going to be the Ford, the XC Utility. There we go, the Falcon 3.3, the 200, the three-speed automatic. There we go, genuine patina colour in blue. There we go, comes with spares, comes, don't you get the human being in it? No human being. Right, he's going to stay pretty straightforward. There we go, we got 1,200 now. That's what 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 we got you're done at 1200 you're up at your 1200 done you're gone because there could be an eager bidding crowd on the far side that Andrew can't see. What a sensational vehicle, truly when you think about it. When was the last time you saw something like this? A fantastic opportunity. Andrew, over to you, let's go. 
Yeah, and all I can remember being a child asking my parents to give a house with their wheels. But there we go. Have a mess. There we go. This one here is your opportunity. There we go. You can put it on blocks, put it out the front, piss your neighbours off. You can do anything you like. But there we go. What a great lot of accommodation as well. There we go. I think it's got a shower on the top of it as well. There we go. It's got everything going for it. Everything you want it. There we go. Five of them now. 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 Five of them
they're nice and strong guards, so yeah, and, and they'll take the two and a half ton, you know, or two point four ton at least. From the misery that was me not bringing Ruby's truck, I do apologise again, Ruby. Um, but you ended up with this orange Chevy Apache sitting on the back. Yep, yeah, the Chevy the fifty five pickup. And what was what was the colour? Listen, to this, Leo. What was the colour of the paint? Of this one, yeah. Chevy orange. But no, 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 no. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's Yuho. Well, yeah, matches the Yuho orange beautifully. <laughs> Absolutely beautifully. Could, couldn't have done it better if we, if we, if we planned it. it. It's a stunning vehicle. And look, we really appreciate, obviously, your support along the way and, and ongoing with the O2 Garage. We're having a ball. We hope you're enjoying it as well. Yeah, no, it's been good. I hope it's a good day today. It uh, should be. I think, uh, I think with uh, some of the sporting things being pulled off, they uh, people will come here and get a good crowd. Yep, and we're undercover. Do yourself a favour. <laughs> Get a U-Haul trailer, it's the only way to go. Thanks, mate. <laughs> All right, cheers.